and welcome back to my No Nonsense video tutorials. Today I'm going to look at PowerPoint, but I'm just going to look at the export options where you might want to export it for handouts in text formats or as a video. The first thing I need to do is find a presentation to actually export. So if I click open, I have one there called Global Warming, and we use this as an experiment. And there's my PowerPoints and my presentation if I slide down. So this is a demo. So what I'm going to do is go to File and I'm going to select the export. Now you can see I can export it to a PDF or XPS document. Video, package presentation, so it all goes on one CD so you can take it with you as a presentation. Handouts in linear format or you can also have the images if you require a change file type. So let me select Create Handouts first. Come to the right here and left click Create Handouts. Now in this case you can choose whether you want notes next to slides or blank lines before slides but I'm going to select outline only so I only want the text format and click OK. It will now automatically send to a Word document. So if I now open it up we have everything we require in linear format from those slides. Now once we've got this which is handy because then you can highlight specific information if you require. The other good option is you can use the built in narrator by Windows 8. Now to start it, click Windows key plus enter. So hold the Windows key and press the enter key. Document 1 Word window. Document 1 Editing. And to start reading, you hold caps plus M. Making a difference. One what at a time. Introduction. Is the world getting... And click the control button to stop the readback. So that's how easy it is to extract linear formats from a PowerPoint. I mean, you could copy and paste it one by one, but that'll do it quickly for you. So I'm going to close Micro that. Micro don't save button. And if you come to the bottom and open the narrator, no. and now we can click exit narrator. And close that. Now I've exported it in linear format. If I go back up to file, why don't I export it? Go to export as a video. So select video. Now come back down and choose your options very carefully here, whether you want a computer and high definition displays, for uploading to the web or burning on standard DVD, or portable devices. And it says there, small text may be difficult to read. So I'm going to leave on internet and DVD. Seconds spent on each slide, 5 seconds, so I can change that, to about 7 seconds. Left click, create video choose we're going to save it to and I should save it to my desktop and I'll leave it as that click save and it should save as an MPEG 4 see bottom of the presentation you can see where it's starting to export it and there we go let's now see if the video saves so I'm going to minimize and open, open my video I'm using Video Land Client, but you can use Windows Media, it doesn't really matter. And there you go. So every seven seconds it will then change to the next one. And then I have my video. I'm going to exit that, and I'm going to open up PowerPoint again. So there's two ways we can export. What else can we export? Go back to File, Export. So we've looked at Create Handouts, gives us linear format and create a video. You can also select package presentation, click package for CD, there's your PowerPoint, you can give the name of your CD, so I've got global warming, all I then click is copy to CD and it's done. Comes up with this warning and you can choose whether or not you want to include links files into your package and click yes, installed. Also back to file and export we can also send it as a PDF or XPS. PDF stands for Portable Document Format and X Press During System. So I'm going to select Create and choose where I'm going to save it to. Again, I'm going to save it to my desktop as a PDF or XPS document. Deciding what you want to do. I'm going to save it as a PDF and click Publish. And now wait for the prompt to finish and it will be published. And there we go, I'm going to maximise Adobe Reader. Go down with the mouse wheel and you can jump from slide to slide as you go down. 
or drag the scroll bar down here on the right or select one at a time using the option on Adobe Reader here. Go back to export and our last option is change file type. So you can choose it to actually open as a slideshow if required or even a PNG which is an image format for network graphics or you might actually decide you want JPEG which is more compressed. So there's some simple export options. Thanks for watching.